Welcome back. One of the most interactive and just plain cool things to do in North Dakota is almost here. The Fort Union Rendezvous is taking place next week. And for more on all there is to see and do is Leif Halverson. Thank you for so much for joining us, Leif. Hey, thanks for having me this afternoon. Absolutely. Now, this is a family-friendly event, so what kind of things can people expect to see when they go? Oh, well, on Thursday in particular, that's our kids' day, and that's running from 10 to 2. Uh, we've got a variety of different scavenger hunt activities. We've got some art stations, some different um, demonstration areas as well. And as the kids go to those different spots, they're going to have a chance to get a stamp on a piece of paper. And at the end, they're going to have an opportunity to win some sweet prizes at the end. But it's not just for the kids. We've got activities going on for people of all ages and sizes to enjoy as well, too, inside the uh, rendezvous area, as well as inside the fort uh, structure itself as well. Fort Union ran for 39 years. It's actually the longest lasting fur trading post in all of the United States. So we've got some pretty special history taking place here in the Confluence area. Gets built in 1828 by John Jacob Astor's American Fur Company and then shuts down unfortunately in 1867, just a couple of years after the end of our American Civil War. And here it's located at this spot at the request of the Assiniboine tribe. They say, will you build us a fur trading site? And they said, yes. And they build it in this location where we're at. We are reconstructed to the year 1851 on the original footprint, which is pretty special because that doesn't happen all that much in the, uh, the park uh, system. We're gonna see blacksmithing. We'll see some people doing some different fur demonstrations, uh, pottery making, frontier living, cooking, things of those nature is gonna be taking place as well. Now we were talking a little bit before this, hopefully it won't be as hot as it was last time. But on that note, uh, why do you think it's so important for people to come out and experience a, a couple days like this? Well, number one, it's nice out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot cooler. And yeah. we get to see eastern Montana, western North Dakota green. Uh, but along with that, there's a lot of rich history right here in our own backyard that oftentimes people will drive by. They see the location, but they don't actually stop in to, to see what's going on. So uh, now is a perfect opportunity to do that. School is out, uh, it's nicer weather, um, and this is a great way to spend an afternoon with your family, uh, seeing the things and learning about that rich culture that we've got here in the area. Sounds like a fun time. Thank you so much, Leaf, once again for joining us today. Thank you.